Hi everyone, Brett here, and this month's lesson we are going to do something we have never done before. <gasps> this is going to vary a little bit from our um, Let's Jam series that we've been doing. <gasps> We're going to be playing a tune that probably everybody knows, which happens to be Oh, I know. But what we're going to do is we are going to teach that tune again and again in different ways. We'll change the timing. We'll add techniques. And what we're going to do is we're going to change it and embellish it to death. Where that's going to help you is once we learn it with a simple tune that you already know, then you can apply it to all the other tunes that you know. You'll, you'll learn some secrets. No matter what instrument you're playing, you're going to get this in so many different ways. Let me get started. And I just want to thank everybody uh, who are doing these lessons. I want to thank my patrons for making these lessons possible. If you're taking these lessons, if you are consuming these lessons, if you are learning from these lessons, it's because there are those who are giving back, who are investing in their own learning process, who are investing in this process of what we're trying to do here. So thank you, patrons. And anyone who might consider becoming a patron, uh, a patron supports each month, uh, entry level is $5, and then there's different things you get for different tiers of support. Uh, but I want to thank the patrons first. I also want to... Uh, Thank those who are sharing these lessons. Uh, there are those who are commenting on these lessons. I so appreciate that. There are those who are liking these lessons. And I want to thank those who are doing that as well because that all helps with YouTube. That helps get the lessons out. It helps in so many ways. So if, if you could just hit like, comment, share, it would be so very much appreciated. So we're going to get started on our mystery tune. So we are going to get started on our mystery tune of the month. However, let me say this. This whole month is not about learning a tune. And I mentioned that this is not going to be in the jam uh, genre of things we've been doing. This is going to be totally different. We're going to be taking a tune, building it from the ground up. We're going to be adding different picking patterns. We're going to be adding different uh, octaves. We're going to be using different left hand techniques. Every single thing that we're teaching can be applied to other tunes. And what this is going to do is help you get out of just following somebody's tab or even my lessons, mixing them up and making them your own and giving you that freedom to embellish on the fly. So we're going to go through different things. We're going to go through the basic melody. Uh, again, the tune is not even important. I'm using the tune I'm using because it's so easy and your focus don't have to be on learning the tune. It could be on doing what we're doing with it. So the tune, the melody is the same in the chords. The tune is Boil Them Cabbages Down, which may or may not throw you, but I hope as we go through this, you're going to see a whole lot that we're going to get out of this. So we're going to put our middle finger on the first string at two. You're playing two, two, three, three. Make sure when you put that three down, you're not lifting up the back finger. And the reason we're using these fingers instead, which is would be considered first position or second position, first position, I'm sorry. This would be second position. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. The reason we're not using this is because we're going to be using chords as we play. So we're playing two, two, three, three, two, two, open, open, two, two, three, three, two. 
two open, second string open. Again, two, two, three, three, two, two, open, open, two, two, three, three, two, open, second string open. You might want to stop here. Just make sure you can play that. Make sure it's memorized. Uh, we're going to put chords to this. This is our C. We are in double C tuning. You're going to play, which is the melody and the chord. Now, we're going to make an F, which is our chord we're going to be playing. And I want you to notice you're fretting the same melody. Back to C. So you're going to play it this way. Now you're going to make a G. You're going to play the first string. Back to C. F. C. G. C. So if you just played your chords, it's the same. So the chords and the melody are the same. So we'll, we'll be making chords throughout most of this unless we do some left hand techniques, which won't be today. Uh, we're going to work on some picking patterns today and possibly moving you to a different octave, but we're going to at least go through these picking patterns. They're picking patterns we often use, but a lot of times we're using them in the tune so you have them memorized in the tune and not necessarily how to put them in. And that's what I want to show you. So right now we're just going to do bum ditties. Bum ditty, bum ditty. So whether we play the melody or the chords, matter but I would recommend making the chords even if we're not playing them because we will be so that was bum ditty and now we're gonna do what I have called the skip and hesitation which means you're not going bum ditty bum ditty you're playing you say wait we've learned this yes but not what we're gonna be doing so if you have trouble with that timing, I'm going to help you. If you counted this one, two, and three, four, and, which is the same as a bum ditty. Bum, in other words, one, two, and three, four, and. You're going to play one. You're coming down on two, but you're not playing it. Two, and then you're playing, you're pulling off on the and. One, two, and. One, two, and and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, four, and sorry, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. So here's what I want you to do. And this is not as easy as you think it's going to be. I want you to mix that up in as many different ways as you can possibly mix that up. In other words, I want you to play it. Let's try it this way. Bum, diddy, bum, diddy. And then we're going to skip. Back to bum, diddy, bum, diddy. Skip. Bum, diddy, bum, diddy, skip. Bum, did, uh, I'm sorry, that was a skip. Um, bum, diddy. See, now even me thinking about it, if I was just playing it naturally, I wouldn't hesitate. What I want you to do is we did bum, diddy, bum, diddy, or we did bum, diddy, bum, diddy, then we did the skip. Let's let's switch it. So let's go skip first. Now we're doing the bum ditty skip. So we reversed it. Let's try it this way. Bum ditty bum ditty bum ditty bum ditty 
skip. So what I want you to do, right there is 15 easily, easily, 15 different ways to play the tune if you keep mixing the bum ditty and the skip up, if that makes sense. So that's what I want you to work on. That's I want you to stop and work on that for a while. Uh, you can also do that with the full chords. Uh, let's see. Sorry, let's do that again. And again, when I stop and think, it's actually difficult, but here's my whole point of this. It is hard when you're stopping to think, but the idea is the more you can mix this up, the more it becomes natural and your fingers will start automatically doing it without you thinking, okay, I'm going to do a skip. Okay, now I'm going to do a bum ditty. Your hands will know what to do if you can mix it up at the beginning. So it's going to be, you want to work at it. You might want to write it down what you're going to do so that you have an idea. So stop here and work on that for just a little bit. All right, we're going to move on. And we're going to do the triple thumbing. So I'll go through this one time. We've done this before, but we're going to play. We're holding the uh, C down. You're hitting the first string. Your thumb is, and I'm going to count it out. One, you're coming down on two, picking off on and. So one two and three and four and you're coming down on the numbers pulling off on the ends one two and three and four and it doesn't matter if you hit the second doesn't matter if you hit the third does not matter at all So what I'm doing there is triple thumb, sorry, triple thumb, triple thumb, triple thumb, triple thumb, triple thumb, triple thumb, or right. bum, di bum diddy, hesitation. So the idea is, all right, and again, I'm thinking really hard here. I want you to try this. Bum. We'll do the hesitation. Then we'll do a bum ditty. Then we'll do a triple thumb. And then a bum ditty. Then a triple thumb. Then a hesitation. Then a bum ditty, a hesitation, triple thumb. Um, sorry about that. Uh, that's a C, sorry. See, it's, it's taxing on my brain when I'm thinking. If I were playing this through... You don't even think about it. Your hands just do what they do. And that's what's really, really good. That's what I want you to work on for this first week. Uh, we did the, we did the bum ditty. We did the hesitation. We did the triple thumb. You could even do this. You can go bum ditty. Let's see. Bum, triple thumb. So you can mix them up even in that that little space. You don't have to do a whole measure of anything. So 
we're stopping here. Well, we, we haven't done the double thumbing yet. We're stopping here because there is so much for you to work on. Uh, you could be, with what I just gave you, you could play the tunes 30 different ways. That same thing, 30 different ways. And it is taxing. I would write it down. I'd recommend doing that. Again, me sitting here trying to show you is, is taxing my brain uh, because, you know, you have to go back. Again, once you learn how to do it, your fingers will automatically start playing by themselves. But there is work involved to be able to do that. And that's what I want you to work on. So have fun with this. We're going to be doing it in different octaves. Again, we're going to be doing lots of different things here. Uh, adding some techniques. Um, so we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, practice it. Take some time. Enjoy it. You know the tune. Sit back and try to play it. Try to mix it up. I hope the lessons are helping a blessing to you. We will see you next week. We'll start with double thumbing and then we'll move on from there uh, with some other things. Have fun. Talk to you soon. Bye.